This tutorial will guide you through defining the engineering sources on a Cayenne or Carrera switcher. It is assumed that the switcher is operational and that the source cabling requirements are known. For questions on suites and IP setup, refer to additional tutorials. From the engineering setup menu, select the source definition submenu. The list of sources appears on the left hand side. The default switcher source configuration has sources 1 through 96 configured to inputs 1 through 96 as a one to one mapping with none of the sources named. This allows someone to check the sources by selecting the number directly related to the physical input connector on the rear of the electronics frame. When sources are named, the name will replace the engineering ID number that was being displayed on the panel. Normally, sources are configured from the first engineering source and changes made as needed. Starting with source 1, the first thing to do is name it. In this example, we will name the source CAM1. As soon as the name is added, it will appear on the control panel in the position of source 1 and replace the number 1 that was being displayed. This source uses the first switcher input, number 1. As this is a direct source with no key, this source is now configured. This process will continue for all subsequent direct sources. The next source to be configured will be a graphics input which has a key. Start as before by naming the source, this time CG1, and choose the video input number of the video for this source. Typically the video input number will follow the item in the source list, but this is not always the case. Next, select linear key and choose the key input connector where the key signal is connected. Again, this can be any input number, but often the next input number is used for the key source. If this is a digital originated source, the clip high and clip low settings can usually be left at Unity. These settings are typically adjusted when the key input levels do not match the range of 0 to 100% or black to white and the keyer is set to fixed linear mode. This allows a key source that has incorrect levels to be keyed correctly while using the fixed linear mode of the keyer. The operator has override controls for the linear key should they need to be adjusted temporarily as part of an effect. The shaped video setting is selected for any source where the video has already been processed by the key signal. Choose shaped video for all sources where the video is shaped, otherwise turn shaping off. This is often required with graphic systems and external digital effect systems which can provide either shaped or unshaped video. An incorrect setting of the shaped mode will affect the edges of the key by producing a white or a black edge around the key video or affecting the look of transparent areas of the graphic. This is also referred to as an additive key. The shaped setting can also be overridden by the operator using a keyer control called additive key. It is also common practice for the key signal of a graphic system to be mapped on its own as a source so it can then be selected by the operator if needed. The source in our case will be called CG1K and be set for the key input number. This source is itself not used as a key but is assigned to the panel simply so an operator can visually check the key signal. Mapping the key on its own is not required for a source with both video and key combined to operate correctly. It is also possible to map the same source twice with different names and key combinations. For example, a video server may be used as a video only source on one occasion and be required with both video and key components at another time. Double mapping thus allows the operator to have the source mapped to the switcher both as a keyed source or as an unkeyed source if needed. 
All sources are direct sources unless they relate to a controllable source such as a video server or DVR referred to generally as a device. Controllable router feeds and controllable cameras are the other choices. Router feeds, cameras, and devices that are not controllable from the switcher are considered direct sources. As an example of a controllable device, we will now configure a clip store channel. In this system, the video from channel 1 of the clip store is cabled up to input 25 and its key is on input number 26. These are set up just like the other sources by selecting the video and key numbers for the engineering source to be used. The clip store is a controllable device, so the source type is set for device. This calls up the external device selection box. Selecting this box shows all devices that have been installed. In this case, we will select CS1, the clip store channel 1, which has already been added to the device list. The clip store is a special case as its engineering name cannot be changed. The clip store source can now be mapped to a button on the control panel. This process would then be repeated for the other clip store channels and other controllable devices as needed. The key channel of the clip store can also be mapped as a source if required, but this is set as a direct source as only one engineering source, usually the video, can be used to delegate control of the channel. Once all of the source definitions have been set, these should be saved in the engineering setup file. Source definitions can be changed at any time and different engineering configurations saved in other engineering files. In most systems, it is unusual for engineering settings to change from day to day once installation is complete. Adding new sources or any change to a source feeding the switcher are typical exceptions to this. Controllable router feeds are another source type that can be configured. This is done by first setting up the router control from the engineering setup router menu where the primary and secondary IP numbers of the router controllers are entered. This should immediately indicate connection to the router if it is connected and online. The next step is to select the engineering source ID for the router feed and set the input number to the input where the router output is cabled. Next, select the source type as router and choose the name of the router output connected to this switcher input. The router feed should now be controllable from the panel or from the router menu. The switcher source displays on the panel will now display the source name from the router controller for the current source selected on this router feed. Controlled cameras are set up in a similar way. First, the camera gateway is configured in the node settings menu, frame suites nodes and ID tab, and enabled. The indicator will turn green if the camera gateway is connected. Next, configure the source as before and select the input to which the camera is connected. Next, choose camera as the source type. Then choose the camera that is feeding this input from the connected camera list. The defined camera should now be controllable from the Source Ops camera menu. All devices are installed using the Ports and Devices menu, with the exception of the Clip Store, which is covered in a later tutorial. External device control is available for both serial and Ethernet connections. The serial protocols supported are AMP, VDCP, Odetix, and BVW. Only AMP protocol is available over Ethernet. To install a device, first choose a device placeholder in the left pane and name the device. Choose the protocol to be used from the choices available. If it is a serial controlled device, assign it to the port which it is connected. If it is an Ethernet device, simply enter the device's IP address. Note that some protocols like AMP and VDCP require a dash number like dash 2 
following the device name to indicate which channel of the device is being controlled. A warning message regarding this will appear in the error message bar if this is required and not supplied. The VDCP protocol has additional selections for the type of server in use. If your device is not listed, use the generic protocol. The name length choices are 8 characters if fixed is selected, or longer names if variable is selected. Once all the sources and types have been configured, the engineering file can again be saved. For information on match def inputs, refer to the outputs tutorial. This concludes the source definition tutorial.